New this morning, police say a scam is going around involving them. Weekend morning anchor Brooke Meanahan is explaining how thieves use law enforcement to make their scam even more convincing. She's live in the newsroom. Brooke. Chelsea, this is how it works. Basically, the scammer will send whether it's a text or a phone call or a letter or a notice telling them that that person that they have an overdue bill and that there is a warrant out for their arrest if they don't pay that bill. Now, this is where police say it gets tricky. They say scammers actually call police and ask for a welfare check on the victim, saying it's their family member who they haven't heard from in a while. Then when police show up, that's when the victim thinks, oh, this is real. Police say they generally never issue warrants for late bills and want to remind the community to be more careful. They recommend looking up the number yourself and call your local police department if you think you may have been victim of a scam. Please say they don't take these things lightly and try and go after scammers as best they can. Sometimes it's out of state and we can't do anything with it, um, but we do our very best to make sure that we can try to help recover something or catch who's doing it. Now they also added asking people that they want to ask uh, people to let their friends and family, especially those who are elderly, because this is who scammers mostly target, to know to call their local police department before paying anyone any, mon any money. They also added that normally um, agencies and businesses won't ask you to pay for things in gift cards as well. Live in the newsroom, Brooke Meanahan at First News this morning.